Hi, I'm Sajid and I'm working as a research engineer in Experts Vision Engineering and Technology Innovations. Uh, we have been working on different research and development projects for more than five years. And besides uh, these projects, we are providing online and offline training to different students, researchers and professionals from different fields, uh, different fields of engineering like electrical, mechanical, chemical, mechatronics, aerodynamics, image processing, uh, speech processing, uh, bioinformatics and a lot of other fields related to mathematics okay you can check a few of our projects here in this link in our portfolio and if you want to check our products these products are MATLAB based you can check here and we also provide online and one-to-one -one training uh, worldwide online through Skype and through different medium uh, you can if you want to uh, if you want to take training you can check course contents from here okay all the details are mentioned here and now we have started this video series on YouTube just to just to help the guys who want to learn MATLAB for free of cost okay so I will start from the basics and then we will move towards advanced topics of different fields so today lecture will be a bit slower because uh, this lecture is just for the MATLAB uh, users who are using MATLAB for first time okay so uh, so if you are new in MATLAB you can bookmark this lecture today's lecture and it will help you a lot when you move towards advanced topics uh, this is the outline of our today's lecture what is MATLAB how it looks like uh, how to define different variables array matrix strings and how to take input from the user uh, what are different operators arithmetic logical relational and how to display results and what are M files MATLAB function files uh, what's the difference between um, user defined functions and MATLAB built-in functions okay so what is MATLAB a MATLAB is a high performance a language for technical computing it has many built-in toolboxes which help in making the visualization, computation and programming very easy for us. Uh, it's user friendly and it's very easy to learn. You just need to give a proper time to its learning. Okay. And today, today's, in today's lecture we'll discuss mat files, command line, different functions, m files and how to store and how to uh, load data okay so this is how MATLAB screen look like on the top is the current directory and then workspace then command history and then command window I show you on my desktop uh, this is my MATLAB I'm using MATLAB 2015A so uh, your layout can be different it depends on your uh, on your version of MATLAB I can and we can change layout from here for now I'm just using default layout okay this is my default layout you can change you can uncheck or check any of these or you can adjust alignment of different window so this is my current folder bar okay and this is my current folder browser this is my command window all the work which I will do I will do here to, for today uh, actually a MATLAB a command window is uh, designed to execute to execute the individual commands whenever we are writing a lengthy code or we are working on a project uh, we can uh, just check the results on command window but uh, we write our original code in another MATLAB editor I will tell you later today okay the most important thing whenever you are working in MATLAB uh, you have to change your current folder okay and all the files uh, which you are dealing with should be in this folder okay like it should be in your current folder so for today uh, I'm just I just create a new folder on my desktop here a uh, new folder first lecture and I, I copy its path and I 
paste it here okay so you can uh, you can change the current folder by navigating uh, through the file system okay this is my current folder now my current folder is this uh, first underscore lecture now the other thing that how to create how to define variables in MATLAB it's pretty easy to define variable it's not like other languages in which uh, first of all we have to create a variable and then um, we have to define variable in MATLAB we just write a variable and it's already defined a equals to 34 and you can see that it's displayed on my command window a equals 34 and it's created in my workspace Okay, and what if I don't want to see uh, on my command window? What I will do? I will simply put a semicolon in front of this statement. B equals to 45. Now you can see B is not displayed on my command window, but it's created in my workspace. Okay, and because sometimes uh, why we need uh, why we need this? Because sometimes uh, we are dealing with the uh, thousands of elements like b equals to or c equals to one two thousand now you can see it just messed up my screen so what I can do for now I can simply write CLC it will clear my screen okay so you can see uh, I just write c equals to one or d equals to one to one thousand now I put semicolon now you can see the variable cd is created but not displayed here and so CLC is used to clear the screen and clear is used if I want to clear my workspace I if I want to clear all my all of my workspace variables I'll just write clear Okay, and another thing, it's command history. Uh, it's uh, yeah, command history. All the work uh, which I will do, its history will be saved here. I can sh see history here, or I can use any of these my uh, previous previously done work from here. Okay, for now I just want to see <coughs> and this command history, so I just. close it okay so this is how uh, to define variable and we can assign a string value to a uh, to a variable just like this a equals to expires vision okay and you can see a variable a contains a string and if we want to check that what's inside our variable we can check it I can check it by simply double clicking this B variable on the workspace and it will be open in a new window okay you can see this is variable A uh, sorry B and all of its element are here so, uh, so this is it for now uh, see you in next video thank you